Hi guys, my name is Bappi Ahmed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, I will show you how we can uh, train this uh, YOLO 11 uh, model on top of our custom data. So here we'll be uh, training this model for the object detection task. Okay, so I think you already know Alternatics published this YOLO 11 model. Okay, YOLO 11 model and with the help of that we can perform uh, object detection, classification, segmentation, uh, then uh, pose estimation, then oriented bounding box. Okay, so these kinds of tasks we can perform. And I already created one video in my channel. So there I already showed you how we can use this model to perform different different kinds of tasks. So if you haven't checked that video guys, please try to check this video. It will uh, get the entire understanding of the YOLO 11. Now let me show you how we can perform the custom training operation. So I already prepared one notebook. So let me first of all connect this notebook. And resources would be shared in the description section. From there you can download. Mm, okay, so what I will do, I will select the T4 GPU here. Hmm. So this is the free GPU we actually will get if you are using free app. Now let me connect the notebook. And let me show you the data guys. The data set actually I am going to use uh, for this uh, training purpose. So this is the link I have given. So this data set is available inside RoboFlow universe. So I already showed you what is RoboFlow. RoboFlow is a actually platform, computer vision platform. Let me show you the RoboFlow. RoboFlow.com So it's a computer vision platform. So it provides actually all kinds of functionality, all kinds of tools and technology for the computer vision okay so it is having one amazing platform called universe okay let me open the universe so this is the universe guys so inside universe actually we are having different different kinds of computer vision related data let's you want to perform object detection image segmentation okay classification all kinds of data all kinds of category are available let's i want to perform object detection just try to click here and you will get all the object detection related data now here you can also search like what kinds of data you need so here I'm going to use one data. So this is the data guys. The data name is PPE detection data set. Now if I show you the image actually. So guys you can see this is the image. So actually this image was collected from a factory. So inside factory actually there are some employees. So they are wearing different different kinds of safety gears. Like helmet, then gloves, then uh, boots, then jackets. Okay. So we have to detect these kinds of safety gears. Okay. So this is the data. Now you can also see any other image as well. Okay, see this different different kinds of image actually we are having. So this is uh, the data set actually I will be using to perform this kinds of object detection task. And you can see, and you can see this object is actually a little bit smaller, but still this YOLO 11 model will be able to detect that object. Okay, after training, let's say uh, 50 to 60 per, it will able to detect that object. I'll tell you, let me show you first of all. Now, if you want to get the data from the RoboFlow universe, just click on the overview and there is a button you will get called download project. Just try to click here. And there, is, there you will see one option called download data set. And see, all the data set is already annotated here. You don't need to annotate it. Uh, if you want to annotate the data, so I already created one video in my YouTube channel. There I showed you how to annotate the data as well. So guys, you can see this is the video I created, how to perform the annotation with the help of RoboFlow. So this video actually you can check. Now let me show you. Uh, next, what we'll do. First of all, let me check the GPU configuration. So here I got Tesla T4 GPU. Now. Now the second thing you have to install the Alternatics because I already told you this uh, YOLO 11 is available inside Alternatics. So we'll be using Alternatics package for this. All right, now if you want to check uh, the Alternatics version and Torch version, Python version, so you can execute this command. Now guys, you can see it is giving you all kinds of version like Alternatics version, Python version, Torch version, okay. Now let's say you want to set up everything in your local machine so you can see the version with respect to that you can set up everything in your local machine, got it? Now let me import some of the necessary library. I'm importing YOLO as well as the image from the display itself. Now, if you want to get the data, so I already told you, just click on the download data set and here you will uh, see the format. So just try to select the YOLO v11 format. Now click on the show download code. You can also download as a zip file, but I will download with the help of code. Now if I click on continue, so it will give me the source code. So now I'll just try to copy and just try to paste it here, okay? So this code snippet will automatically download the data from the RoboFlow universe. Now let me show you if I execute the program. See. Left hand side you will see that it will download the data. See PPE detection data. And inside that you will have all the images, everything it will have. So guys, as you can see my data is downloaded. Now you can see we are having three different folder test, train and validation. So this is the same kinds of data. Uh, I think previously if you have used YOLO v5, YOLO v6, so this kinds of data we also used to use. I think you remember, right? So it is having the image folder and it is having the label folder. Okay, inside image we are having all the image, inside label we are having all the TXT annotation. Okay, now it is also having one uh, file called data.yaml. Let me show you. So this is the data.yaml and inside that they have mentioned the data path, like the what is the image path and the number of classes. It is having same and number of classes, like you can see dust, 
मास्क आई वायर ग्लव जैकेट प्रोटेक्टिव बुट्स प्रोटेक्टिव हेलमेट एंड शील्ड सो दीज आर दी सेवन क्लासेस एक्चुअली दिस डेटा सेट इज है so now what you have to do guys you have to change the location of your data so here you can see my data is present inside my collab now i just need to change the location so let me show you so just try to copy the image path and just try to mention it here for the validation as well let me open the validation folder copy the image path and try to mention it here then i will also do it for the test as well so only this change actually you have to do now let me save with the help of control s now let me close it now if you want to uh, see the data location so you can also see the data location now guys we'll start the training and see that much actually easy it is so you don't need to do so many configuration so everything is already done by alternatives so you just need to start the training so for this you have to execute one command called yolo and you have to specify the task let's say i want to perform detection task here right i will give detect more difficult to train i want to train the model and this is the data location i'm providing that means my data.yml file path inside that i'm having all the path right all all the image path now i'm giving the model name so which model you want to use i already told you it is having different different kinds of model right so you can give any kinds of model let's say i'm performing detection so just try to check the detection model so i'm using nano model here so you can see i'm giving the nano model and number of epoch i want to train only 50 epoch and image size 6 uh, 640 that means during training this yolo 11 they used actually 640 dimensional image so that's why i'm passing this size actually now if i click here so it will start the training see first of all it will download the model then after that it will load the data then it will start the training let me show you so guys as you can see my training has started so epoch is running so it will take some time so let's wait once training is complete i will come back so guys as you can see my training is completed now if i refresh you will see one folder called runs inside that it has saved all the artifact let me show you detection train and inside void folder you are having the train void that means base.pt okay this is my model this model i will be using for the inference apart from that it has also saved all the let's say uh, like evolution matrix as and all so let me plot some of the matrices and let me show you the model performance so first of all if you want to see the confusion matrix multi class confusion matrix you can also see that so how we can understand this confusion matrix let's say so you can see blob actually written uh, 54 time but here you can see my model has done one mistake actually it has uh, only predicted one time actually it's a shield so that's how actually you can understand this uh, multi class confusion matrix apart from that if you want to like uh, plot the levels like uh, how many levels actually we are having uh, in each class so this is the distribution so we are having seven classes and shield is like very less okay in that example now apart from that you can see the complete uh, evaluation matrix that means the training losses map score see as per your epoch is increasing loss is decreasing epoch is increasing map is also increasing okay that means my model learning is good apart from that you can also plot some batch images you can see these are some batch images okay now see some batch images even in the run time it also perform the augmentation technique right now you can see some batch images as well okay so these are some batch images now let's perform the validation that means if you want to check the validation score on top of the validation data so execute this line so it will do the validation operation so it will load my actually train model so you can see i am giving my model location so this is the model location just to copy the path okay copy the path and try to paste it here and give the data location it will automatically pick up the validation data and if i execute you will see that it will give you the complete uh, uh, i mean matrices like what is the map score for each class everything it will show you so see guys this is the validation score and this is the so guys you can see this is the results and this is the map score actually i'm getting so map score should be actually close to 1 that means your model is performing better now let's do some inference operation so here i'm giving my test data you can see test data location and uh, this is the model actually i'm using my trained model now if i perform the prediction on top of it now let's try to see whether it is able to detect that object or not see it is detecting all the data and it is saving in the folder which folder just open the detect folder inside that you will see predict and inside that all the prediction would be saved okay now let me show you some of the detection 
So this code will actually load uh, actually 3 to 4 image and it will show you the detection C. So guys, you can see it has detected jacket, eye wire. Then you can see also it has detected uh, protective shield, protective helmet, uh, protective helmet gloves. Uh, yeah, so it is able to detect. Uh, because you have only trained uh, 50 box, but still it is able to detect everything. Now, also let me download one data actually I'm having. So in this URL actually I'm having one data. So this is the image actually, that factory image. On top of that, I will perform the detection. So again, give the data location. See, I've already downloaded with the help of G down and this is the data. See, this is the image I downloaded. Now let me pass this image. Now I'm executing the same command, right? Now let me execute and let me show you. Now it will save inside predict2. That means it will create another prediction folder inside detect because you have done multiple prediction, right? So every time it will create the version. Now inside that you will have the results. Now let me plot these results. So this is the results guys, see, amazing detection. Now you can also perform on top of the video. So let me download one video. So in this URL, I'm having one video. I'm downloading with the help of G down. So it has downloaded now. Uh, see, there is another video you can also download, but I'm not going to download. I'm going, uh, only going to download one video. Now let's part from the detection on top of the video. So here you have to give the video location. Now see, if I execute, it will show you the, see, uh, it will actually, uh, first of all, get all the frame from the video, then it will perform the detection operation. So it is having 310 frame, okay, in this video. Now let's see you want to render the results in your uh, Google Colab, you can execute this code. First of all, I'm loading my actually uh, predicted video. Let me show you in the runs folder detect predict three so this is the video okay it has uh, um, my model has given me okay after detection so i'm loading it then i'm performing the compressed operation that means then after loading this uh, video what i'm doing guys i'm performing the compression operation because this video size is a little bit high okay i'm just trying to reduce the video size so execute this code so after reducing it will uh, show in the google collab you can also download and you can also see that so i already downloaded it. let me show you so guys uh, this is the results okay you can see this is the results and it is detecting real time. Okay, detecting real time. You can also use your camera. If you want to use your camera, what do you need to do? You just need to pass zero here. In the source, you just need to pass zero here. It will open up your camera. But make sure you're running the uh, code from the local machine because I'm running in the collab. So collab can't access my like uh, camera, right? So you have to execute from your local machine. Then it will open up your camera and it will do the real time detection there. So guys, here is my results. Now we can also play here. See, this is the... Uh, output I got from my model. Amazing. So that's how guys you can perform the custom training if you have any custom data with the help of this YOLO 11, right? So uh, in future, I will also create some of the video like how we can perform the segmentation, like how we can train our segmentation model, pose estimation model. We'll be learning each and everything. With that guys, thank you so much. And if you like my content, so please try to subscribe, try to share. With that guys, thank you so much. And I will see you next time.